Hey everybody, Eric Hayden in the garden this evening. Got some thunderstorms in the distance. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any rain out of it, but the clouds um, from it and the wind from it has made for a gorgeous evening. Want to do a follow-up. The last, one of the last videos we showed you was cuttings, and we showed you that two did take root, um, and we're gonna talk about those here in a second, but the cuttings came from this bush here. It's double delight. I've got uh, a friend that's just getting into growing roses, um, and if you're gonna take some cuttings and try to propagate, and in my case, give them away to friends, I wanna give them something that they're gonna remember. Double Delight is one of the more recommended roses. It grows well. Look at that color, can't beat it. Uh, very, very fragrant. Um, it's a good grower. You can see this bush is doing quite well. Prolific bloomer, um, plenty of blooms on it. Another one I like to give away um, is Mr. Lincoln. A little taller. Um, pure red and very, very fragrant rose, also a good grower as well. So the point of this video is to going to talk briefly about what we did with the cuttings. Um, most of my roses in the garden are grafted. They are not own root. What I mean by that is in the case of this, uh, this is Let Freedom Ring, or Let Freedom Ring. This is Ring of Fire. I got the ring part right. This is grafted onto Fortuniana. It's a better rootstock for our sandy soils. I'm trying to grow the biggest, the best roses possible. Um, so most of mine are grafted. Own root has been popular before. Um, certain varieties that might be weaker may not do well on own root. Uh, before we get to that, look at that. That's Stolly Parton. Just some real gorgeous blooms, especially for summertime in our garden. So back to the own root question. The reason why you graft is to push the rows into growing quicker and for some it adds vigor to the rose variety. What I mean by that is certain varieties tend to grow well on, on their own and others need a little help from a vigorous rootstock like Fortuniana. But it doesn't, it's not always equal. And what I mean by that, some roses do fine just on their own. And this is an example, um, not to complicate things, you know, by and large, the, the grafting process is to make the, the rows bigger, quicker, uh, it's easier to produce. You only need one bud eye to generate a new plant. Uh, with um, own root, you need multiple ones. So it's a little harder for production uh, value. That's uh, Marilyn Monroe there. So, so while most of these are grafted, own root does have its place. Um, you can easily make propagation in your home garden uh, if you wanna make some copies of things. And if the variety is a good growing rose, it's going to grow well on its own roots. And here's the example. Look at all these roses. The tallest ones, uh, Let Freedom Ring, Hot Princess, they're all on, um, they're good growing roses and they're on a rootstock. But the tallest of all the roses in the whole garden go all the way to the back, past the grafted Double Delight, past the grafted Mr. Lincoln, and it's Yolande de Aragon. That is on its own roots. My parents got it. Uh, they had it up in Maryland. Originally, I had it in New York, uh, but I left it. Uh, it was hard to move, so I just left it. Um, but I took a cutting from their garden a couple summers ago. It's at least two years old. I think it's, it's going on two years. And you can see it's doing fantastic. So the point of this is, uh, yes, grafted roses do better for some varieties. But if it's a good growing variety, like Double Delight, it's gonna do fine on its own roots. It's gonna take longer. In that last video, you saw it rooted in about two weeks, um, and then three and a half weeks later, or to the now, we took it out of these smaller containers and put them in these smaller pots. Uh, so we'll let it get a little bit bigger, then we'll repot it again. It will keep transitioning until it's a uh, bigger rose. Um, so again, it's gonna take longer because it's on its own roots. It's not on a root stock. Uh, but in a couple years, you're not going to probably notice much difference with that grafted one that I have there. And again, the evidence is Yolande um, Aragon. So, potted it up. You don't want it to become root bound. I also noticed the bottom of some of the roots were rotting a little bit. Again, it's in a, it was in a mist environment, um, real, real wet to generate roots. But now that it's generating roots, I don't have to keep the surface of the leaves wet all the time. It can get um, food, nutrients, water from its roots. And if you're wondering where I get these pots from, I pretty much keep all my pots. Lowe's, Home Depot, local garden stores, 
I just keep them, uh, reuse them until they fall apart. So that's been watered in. I did mycorrhiza, um, some microbes I mixed in here. Um, I wanna try to give it a good start. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in um, to help get those roots growing as well as possible. And again, that will help um, with the pro mix to hopefully get these plants to a good start. Um, as long as they survive, which I don't think they'll have any issues, I'm gonna give this to the friend that just bought a couple roses, is just starting to uh, get into roses. So they're potted up, they're watered. They have been in nothing but shade or filtered light since the beginning, and I'm gonna continue that. So they're gonna actually go back under the tree, out of the sunshine, um, and I'll monitor them. Unlike having to miss them every day, it'll probably be every couple days, I'll water it just like you would a regular plant. Um, want to keep from overwatering because now that it has roots, it can tend to dry out a little bit in between waterings. Um, these are the hanging baskets that I put over here during vacation, uh, so they're not in as much sunlight and at risk for drying out. Incidentally, I didn't show you in the last update this method. Uh, I'm sure you see it online. I'm sure it works for some folks, but I think it was just too hot in our climate, um, the classic rotting. Um, so it didn't work this time, but again, keep trying with your cuttings. As you can see, despite most of mine failing, uh, we did get a couple doubled light, and hopefully the callusing on the Fortuniana means that will root here in the next week or so. So that's it from the garden. I have another flush of blooms. This is our July set of blooms. A little smaller, but overall the growth in the garden is looking pretty good. Have a, day, a great day, everybody. And again, thanks for following the page.